What is up, guys, and welcome to another episode of Surviving Standard. Yes, you heard me right. We are going into Standard here, and I uh, haven't played Standard in quite some time, as you will see by looking at our rank. I think we're ranked 19. Not too great. We haven't played Standard in a long time, but we should have some fun with this deck. We're revisiting the Beastmaster Warlock deck from many months ago. This deck was trying to uh, basically combo Beastmaster with Plot Twist, Therefore, dumping our hand, drawing a new hand, and every beast we get along the way gets buffed by plus two, plus two. So let's take a look at some of the cards we get since the last time. Starting with the new beasts, we have a Bad Luck Albatross. This 4-3 beast doesn't synergize that well with the Beastmaster buff, but it is going to break up any Zephyr-style deck for sure. Moving up the curve one, we have escaped Mana Saber from the new adventure. This comes down as a 3-5 with stealth. This scales pretty well with a buff because it is stealth and it can help lead to a, maybe a big turn with Valdris Fell Forge. Another new 4-drop beast is the Hippogriff. This comes down as a 2-6 with a Rush and Taunt, and if we give it plus 2, plus 2, it scales very nicely, coming down as a 4-8 with both Rush and Taunt. Like the previous Beastmaster deck, we're dipping our feet into dragons. We have a bit of a minor dragon theme to unlock the very powerful Scale Worm and a crazed Netherwing and Warlock. This is where Nightmare Amalgam is serving triple duty as a dragon, beast, and mech. The mech can come in handy if you get your Amalgam buffed with the Beastmaster. You can combo this with Zeliax for a big life swing. To support the dragons, we're again playing the Swamp Dragon Egg. Its best use is to combo early with Evil Genius, much like Evil Cable Rat or it can be used later on with the very powerful Plague of Flames. The last dragon to mention is the legendary Zoraku the Warped. Eight mana, four, 12 dragon. Every time we take damage, you get a six, six dragon. So it doesn't affect the board immediately, but if we combo this with our hero power on 10 mana, we can get a six, six. And uh, this is mainly gonna serve as a dragon in the hand card for most of the game. But if we're in a long game and our health pool is high enough, this can be a very hard card for opponent to deal with. Two final beasts to mention, we're playing both Augmented Elec and Ironbeak Owl. I'm not sure if the number is right here. I got one Elec, two Owls. It's possible we need to switch those numbers. Regardless, the Elec combos with Plot Twist and Late Game. If we're running out of cards in our deck, we can put more of them as these two cards combo together. If there's a lot of things to silence right now in the format, which there might be, I don't exactly know for sure. I'm ranked on 19. Well, two Ironbeak Owls can do the job nicely. These are also beasts, so they randomly get buffed by the Beastmaster plays. All right, hope you enjoy the gameplay to follow. Fair warning, this is a rank 19 match. We haven't played standard in many months. Make sure to tune in tomorrow, guys. The extended video will be online, and I will see you next time. Udan versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Your soul shall be mine. All right, we got Crazed Netherwing and Nightmare Amalgam. That's kind of a combo. Might be worth it keeping an owl in case he tries to go in on like a early buffed clear type of thing. I think ideally we start the game with exactly Swamp Dragon Egg and Evil Genius. Evil Cable Rat, Evil Genius also pretty good. Okay, that gets Dragon too. Alright, so turn two Evil Genius, turn three Probably the Albatross. This one we have plans for with Plot Twist and stuff. Hmm. Does that change anything? Might, right? We might you do these two. can kill that. It's pretty costly because I have to burn all of these. And I don't think we want to do that. Maybe that's a mistake though because he can heal it and then like if he has North Shark Theoric. Uh, why would you do that? What? Circle? But Circle heals my guy. I guess it wouldn't... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That is pretty good. I'm not going to give up on that. We play our uh, Amalgam, and this will be our Dragon in the Hand card for later. Am 
Might start tapping. We need to draw the plot twist. We also need more cards in our hand for the uh, plot twist to be good. We just play Beastmaster and plot. And uh, yeah, let's just do that. Hmm. Oh. That will uh, draw hopefully a lot of beasts. All right. We must expand our minds. Am I going to mill? I guess I have too many cards. What's my max hand size? 12. Yeah, I'm going to lose a card here. Uh-oh. Zeliax, I think, is the worst one to lose. By blood. Be born again. We can give this rush and get a mana. That's kind of nifty. Uh, imagine we do this though, right? We just trade this into here. What if I play the beast match on plot twist? Mm. Does that get us out of trouble? It might, right? It might. Plums, those aren't exciting enough. Hmm, I don't know. I only have three mana, so <laughs> actually, what do I even want here? Oh, this is gonna take so long. We could just plague him. Yeah, there's probably a better play, but I didn't have any time. <laughs> we got only got two beasts. What? No, three. Only three. Next turn, we can just do this guy. All right, who's thirsty? Although, this is pretty, this is pretty good, right? Ourself, get a six six. Got to keep that in mind. Oh, what was I saving? Um, these for I could have just. I have one more evil genius and a plague. Eh, there's a reason to save them. If we're getting short on cards, we have to plot twist the uh, the Elec, right? Alright, I have silence for that. You got it. What is up guys? Thanks for making it to the end of the video. You've gone this far. Help the channel out go a little bit further. Like the video, comment below, and if you haven't already, of course, you need to subscribe to the channel. The extended gameplay video will be up tomorrow. I'll make sure to link it here. 
once it is online. I'll see you guys next time.